Travel and expenses covered by Warner Brothers. Good morning, it is the next day. We are all in our outfit, workout outfits, because we're about to we're about to kick some butt. We have the stunt team here. Oh my gosh, you're here too, yes. Are you guys ready? You have some stunt training? Yeah. I don't know what it's gonna look like. I just want to kickbox. <laughs> I know you're gonna look so good. But we're not kickbox. Oh, well if we get to punch, then I'll be able to shine. A little. Yeah. I ordered a tray of fruit because the fruit here is so freaking good. And then can you guess what is underneath here? I'll give you five seconds to guess. Five, four, three, two, one. The salmon. <laughs> Guys, it's so good. I just keep getting it. I also have a cappuccino. Yes, baby. And some watermelon water and just regular water. Stunt training was so fun. Um, what a wild, crazy experience. There was like, at the end, I didn't film any, but if you follow like Brizzy or Tessa or Mari, you'll see <laughs> some other footage. Uh, they had people busting out of the boxes. I really wanted to do it, but I was so, I was so scared I was gonna like trip and like fall on the boxes. A couple of people did and it was pretty funny, but I just didn't want it to be me because you know, when I trip and fall, I just don't trip and fall. I like, I freaking, I meet the ground with confidence and assertiveness as if it's something I could plummet through. So yeah, I didn't do it. But I'm gonna eat and get ready because we're about to meet Patty Jenkins and Gal Gadot. So, <laughs> what is my life right now? What is this the past week, the past two days even? Um, it's a round table discussion um, where we have questions and we're talking to them. A little different than yesterday, but still really, really exciting. So I'm gonna hurry up and eat and then get ready and go. Okay, we're just about to go in. We can film. This might be a little awkward though. What if we're like, you know? Yeah. Also, we didn't control our faces last time. Remember we were supposed to? No, I didn't. All right, go and be cool. Be cool, be cool, just be cool. Okay, we're just standing here. It's cool. Everyone, chill out. It's fine. Doubles, you know, yeah, just let us know. Great about you both, yeah. so. so great. Yeah, that was a good time. So I think the group would love to know a little bit more about the 80s and why we're putting Diana and Tom in the 80s. 
what's been happening is very much what we, you know, talked about at the end of the first movie, which is Diana was dedicated to saving mankind, but very quietly and undercover. And so in all these years, you know, it's funny, sometimes people have said, why didn't she do something in World War II? And I always say, how do you know she didn't? Yeah. You know, Wonder Woman is very much as, the, as it was done in the comic books at many times. She's been doing all kinds of things. She's just very serious about keeping it quiet and undercover. And so um, that's what she's been doing. Why the 80s? Well, I wanted it to be extremely different than the first movie. And it came to me during the shoot, while we were shooting the first movie, the storyline. And the storyline was best set in the 80s because the first movie was all about the birth of Wonder Woman, making Wonder Woman. This movie is about Wonder Woman and us and our times and our classic villains. And so what better time to do it than in 1984? That was kind of the height of our civilization, this current civilization. Yeah, 84, no problems had shown up yet. We were at the top of the world and there were good and there were bad things about it, but there was great art and great belief in mankind and everyone was you know, celebrate, doing, celebrate celebrating and doing incredible things, but we didn't know what the price of that was going to be. So putting Diana, it's really a story about Diana meets mankind and our classic villains, which are perfectly suited for that era, era of time. And Wonder Woman, we all associate hugely with the 80s. So it was a great way to bring her back to her home in that way as well. <laughs> I had uh, managed to orchestrate uh, a gift for Patty and I. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, can I? Not, Not yet. Not oh, yet. I can't uh, tell me what it is. It's the invisible jet. <laughs> no. It sparks in my living room. Yeah. <laughs> I would don't tell anyone. There's there a, is a prop that will will be seen tomorrow. Yes. That we both have a copy of. <laughs> Pretty great. Pretty awesome. Yeah. So yes. I have some cassette tapes that I still have. <laughs> <laughs> Do they work? Do you have oh, a yeah. okay, okay, one? Wow. My favorite albums, like Duran Duran's first album, which I so remember when it came out, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna be taking this tape, guys. <laughs> And it's something that you never think about when you actually go and shoot a movie. Um, you know, when we're on set, you don't think about how it, what kind of effect it's going to have on people. You think about it, it's in the back of your head, but then to hear and to see and to experience the different reaction across the board. I think the best story I have is the story that you told me. Was it you that told me that Which about one? the boy in the audience that uh, yeah. that said when I, after he watched Wonder Woman, he told his mom, "When I grow up, I want to be a woman." <laughs> and, and, and it was all because of Wonder Woman and everything that she stands for and symbolizes, and and it's just such a privilege to be, you know, to be walking in those boots mm -hmm. and to have this character and to portray her and to be her and to celebrate her and to carry this agenda that is super important, especially nowadays, mm -hmm. and I'm super grateful for it. We're grateful too. <laughs> I hope, you know, I don't take lightly uh, the objective of making a great movie that's fun, that you love, that you want to go see, that you want to go see again. So we very much care about it being a blast and fun moment to moment and profound or emotional or all of those things. Like we want to make a great film. But what do I hope people take care take home from it? I always think that it's important to be about something with your film. And we were with the first movie and with this movie we're really about something that we really believe in. So like the way that, you know, I've talked many times about how when I saw Superman, it never left me. I, I always remembered being someone with challenges who was an outsider who became Superman and what that felt like. So I want people to remember our film subconsciously or consciously and have it bring something beautiful into their lives. So I, I hope they have a great time seeing it. I hope they want to see it more than once. But I also want to have a, a wonderful relationship with those people who go to see it by having a dialogue with them about something that we all care about and think about and have it come back to their mind. That's, that's the ambition. You know, it's super important for us that you guys are here and we don't take it um, for granted because we do this movie for you and getting the opportunity to see you face to face and to shake your hand and to talk a little bit means a lot to both of us. Yeah, we don't get to engage with so many people and we do know like 
listen, it's fun to come to these things, it's also hard, you know, and you've taken care of things at home and you've done all kinds and gotten on multiple planes. So it's not, we're not just trying to say, come and do this thing. Like we're, we are truly grateful for as hard as we see that it is to do for you guys taking that moment for our film. We really appreciate and hope that you have a good time here and you're well taken care of. And, you know, thanks for putting your effort into, into being here for us too. Thank you guys so much for taking Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so we're gonna go get a photo with them right now. Excited. I'll slap it uh, in between this clip and my reaction after. It just happened and she said I have a nice smile. Did you see that? She said, she said, she said, she said uh, you're so sweet to you too. I know, I know. I don't think anyone was filming that. No one's gonna believe me. I have to pee. <laughs>